The Book of Psalms is a treasured anthology within the Hebrew Bible, referred to as Praises in Hebrew. This title is reflective of its contents, a collection of songs and hymns that are used to praise God. The English term Psalms stems from the Greek translation of the Hebrew scripture, termed the Septuagint, where the word Salmoi signifies songs. This connotation suggests their use as songs of praises, or praise songs, which is indicative of the book's central theme of worship. Spanning a broad historical spectrum, the Psalms encompass compositions from as early as the time of Moses in the 15th century BC to the latter post-exilic era in the 5th century BC. The bulk was produced during the consecutive reigns of King David and King Solomon, around the period of 1010 to 930 BC. The attribution of these poetic pieces is diverse. King David alone is credited with composing nearly half of the 150 psalms, ingraining an influential Davidic essence upon the corpus. Other named authors include Asaph, responsible for 12 psalms, the sons of Korah, authors of 10, Solomon with two contributions, and Moses, Heman, and Ethan, each with one psalm to their name. Nonetheless, approximately 48 psalms lack an identified author and are therefore deemed anonymous. The intricate and sometimes arcane phrases found in the titles or superscriptions of many psalms lend credibility to their ancient provenance. Some scholars believe that the authors may have penned these titles themselves, which could account for their cryptic nature. The absence of titles for the orphan psalms further suggests that these inscriptions were not casually appended by later editors, but rather have an authentic and historical significance. The final compilation and arrangement of the psalms is often ascribed to Ezra, a learned scribe who is believed to have placed them in their current organized form around 450 BC. As a result of their profound spiritual and emotional resonance, the Psalms have maintained a crucial role in the liturgy and personal devotion, articulating the full spectrum of human emotions, from the depths of despair to the pinnacles of joy, thus connecting adherents from various faith traditions to the divine experience. Also, the Book of Psalms, viewed through the lens of Bond's analysis, is a collection of 150 diverse hymns and prayers traditionally split into five distinct sections. These sections correspond to the Pentateuch, the first five books attributed to Moses, and each concludes with a doxology, a formulaic expression of praise to God. The discrete divisions of the Psalms suggest they may have existed independently at some point in their history, a conjecture supported by the occurrence of similar Psalms, like Psalms 14 and 53, in separate sections. The Psalms are multifunctional, serving various roles within the ancient Israelite society. The Songs of Ascent, for instance, Psalms 120-134, were probably chanted by worshippers journeying to Jerusalem for major festivals. Contrastingly, other Psalms like 93 and 96-99 celebrate Yahweh's supreme sovereignty over all creation. Over centuries, scholars have endeavored to classify the Psalms into genres, discernible by themes and structures. These include hymns of praise, Psalms 145-150, communal and personal laments, for example, Psalms 38-39, songs rejoicing in God's salvific acts, Psalms 30-32, royal psalms reflecting on the monarchy of Israel, Psalms 2-110, enthronement psalms that proclaim God's eternal kingship, Psalms 96-98, penitential psalms of repentance, Psalms 32-38-51 and wisdom psalms that ponder life's moral dichotomies and divine justice. Psalms 19, 119. The laments, which may be personal or communal, present urgent appeals to God during times of distress, often expressing sorrow but also recollecting past instances of divine intervention. These laments typically culminate in vows of praise, anticipatory of divine response. Thanksgiving psalms, similar in nature, epitomize the rejoicing that follows divine deliverance from tribulations. Hymnal psalms are characterized by invocations of grand praise to God, detailing the deity's praiseworthy deeds, sometimes without a consistent structure, and often designed for liturgical use, including antiphonal recitation. The royal psalms, dealing with Israel's earthly kings, and the enthronement psalms, focused on Yahweh's rule, are seen as subcategories of hymns, each celebrating aspects of leadership and authority. The penitential psalms express sorrow and remorse, seeking forgiveness and reparation of the sinner's relationship with God, while wisdom psalms delve into the ethical and moral spheres of life, reflecting on the ways of righteousness versus wickedness, and often taking on a didactic tone. Bond stresses that while these classifications offer insight, 
they are by no means definitive enclosures. Psalms frequently defy singular classification, instead featuring elements of various types, and they encompass a broad range of emotional and spiritual experiences. Some psalms are acrostically structured to facilitate memorization. The insight into psalm types provides readers with a framework for understanding the psalm's original context as well as their potential role in contemporary worship. Last but not least, Bond's examination of the psalms positions them as a foundational component of Old Testament OT spirituality, serving as a deep well of inspiration for both public and private devotion. The psalms facilitate personal reflection on God's law and His providence, embedding the essence of OT religion into the lives of the faithful. Esteemed as Israel's ancient hymn book, the psalms have long provided a blueprint for divine worship that resonates with both Jewish and Christian traditions. The text presents the psalms as theologically rich, covering a gamut of doctrines and affirming core tenets such as monotheism and God's character. Notably his omniscience, omnipotence, righteousness, truth, goodness, and holiness. The denunciation of atheism and idol worship emphasizes the importance of acknowledging the one true God. The Psalms also dive into the interplay between God's revelation through the natural world and His Word, upholding the enduring significance of His covenants with His people. Bond addresses the human condition, accentuating the Psalms' unequivocal stance on innate sinfulness, the process of repentance, and the path to restoration. There is an acknowledgment of the transitory success of the wicked, contrasted with the eternal reward of the righteous who seek refuge in God. Controversially, the Psalms include imprecatory pleas, prayers for God to enact justice on the foes of the writer, and by extension God's enemies. These are not to be mistaken for personal vendettas. Rather, they are appeals for divine retribution that align with God's righteousness, echoing similar prayers found in the New Testament. Central to the Psalms is their prophetic focus on the Messiah, the linchpin of Israel's hopes and religiosity. This messianic thread weaves through the Psalms, often illuminated when human constraints are lifted or the ideal state of man is portrayed. David and Solomon's experiences serve as types for the Messiah, with distinct Psalms directly prophesying his coming, suffering, resurrection, and enduring offices. Conclusively, the Psalms remain a source of instruction and solace perpetually teaching God's people the art of worship and service, and motivating them to glorify God throughout their lives and beyond. In conclusion, the book of Psalms, as described by Bond, constitutes an integral section of the Hebrew Bible and serves as a compilation of sacred hymns and prayers. These texts, collectively deemed praises in Hebrew and Salmoi or songs in Greek, affirm the theme of worship that is central to the book. The Psalms span a period from the time of Moses in the 15th century BC to the post-exilic era in the 5th century BC, with a significant portion attributed to the reigns of King David and his son Solomon, who reigned from approximately 1010 to 930 BC. Moreover, out of the 150 Psalms, King David is named as the author of about half, imprinting a profound Davidic influence on the collection. Other contributors include Asaph, the sons of Korah, Solomon, Moses, Heman, and Ethan each with their respective psalms. However, 48 psalms are left without specific attribution, shrouded in anonymity. The ancient and sometimes enigmatic nature of the titles or superscriptions associated with the psalms add to their authenticity and ancient heritage. There is speculation that these titles may have been written by the composers themselves due to their cryptic nature. Furthermore, the current structure, comprising five distinct sections mirroring the books of the Pentateuch, was likely set by the scholarly scribe Ezra around 450 BC. The sections, each ending with a doxology, suggest an independent origin for some psalms, as seen in the repetition of similar psalms in different sections. In addition, Bond asserts the multifaceted uses of the psalms within ancient Israelite society. For example, the songs of ascent were likely sung by pilgrims traveling to Jerusalem. He categorizes the psalms by themes and structures, but notes their typical resistance to rigid classification, as they often encompass elements from multiple genres. These include hymns, laments, thanksgivings, royal proclamations, and wisdom reflections, allowing for a vast range of emotional and spiritual expression. Further, Bond comments on the enduring importance of the Psalms, noting their role in both personal and communal religious practice. Theologically, the Psalms cover doctrines like monotheism, and divine characteristics such as omnipotence and holiness, while also addressing the human condition with themes of sinfulness, 
repentance, and integrity. The Psalms juxtapose the temporary prosperity of evildoers with the lasting fortunes of the righteous, incorporating calls for divine retribution known as imprecatory psalms. Crucially, the Psalms carry messianic prophecies, with the psalmist's experiences prefiguring the predictions about the Messiah's advent, suffering, resurrection, and the fulfillment of his purpose. The Psalms teach worship, inspire service, and motivate believers to honor God, representing a perpetual source of guidance and comfort.